Seattle's known for its art and it's known for its pot. Our tour is more about education. We take you to go see something you can't otherwise see. There's different kinds of pipes you can make, like hammerheads, sidecars, things like that. But this is just a simple spoon pipe. It's hot, but not hot enough to be a liquid. So when Aaron makes a pipe and you get to see it being made, you're getting it straight from the artist. It's a one-of-a-kind experience. We're going to go over to a cultivation facility. And it's actually the largest cultivation facility here in Seattle. And they produce top shelf cannabis. So let's go over to Sky High Gardens. We've been here about a year and a half. And we started as medical and then recreational licensing opened up about four months into our process with medical here. Cannabis plants are photosensitive. They tell time by the hours of dark they get. So they're going to get 12 hours of dark in here. It triggers their flowering hormone. They're going to be in uh, We're taking you to go see something that would never be open to the public in any other state except for maybe in Colorado. Here is Bubblicious. Bubble. And it, it smells like pink bubble gum. Oh. Oh my god, you're kidding. No. Nope. All right, we're ready to go smell some jars. <laughs> we have sweet lavender diesel. Uh, Chocolope Kush, Chocolate Thai, Mazar Kush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super oh, Silver Haze wow. crossed with an oh, Afku. Green Crack. Green Crack. This is a nice sharp sativa. You almost detect those citrus oh, notes on it. Yum. Earthy and dank would be two, two terms that I would assign to this one. This is Analytical 360. They're an industry leader when it comes to cannabis testing, and they're going to give us a tour of their laboratory. We test flowers, concentrates, and edibles. I'll just start with how the sample progresses through the process of analysis. The analyses and stuff like that, you know. This machine that they use separates all the different cannabinoids and terpenes from each other, and they put it in their open source database where the public can go in and see what is in the product that I'm going to consume. Yep. Uh, one of the two grams of Northern Lights. Okay. Green Crack. Okay. Uh, uh, Girl Scout cookies. Synex is really nice. Nice lemony flavor with that. I've got it in single grams. Uh, that's going to be a sativa dominant hybrid. Really nice stuff. You can come to Seattle and you can have cannabis in your pocket and you don't need to be worried about running from the police. You can come here and enjoy yourself and, and that's the beautiful thing about it.